Okay. Dude. Golly. Okay, yeah. There's definitely, like... I, I, I essentially have my games planned for this year. But, uh... Doesn't mean it's going to we're going to be able to stick to the plan. But I definitely want to try and stick and try and actually go forth with the plan. Because I want because I do want to play. I do want to play more, uh, all sorts of games. Uh, uh I I do want to play Sovereign Syndicate when it comes out this month. I do want to play V3 Reload when it comes out at the beginning of February. I do want to play Dragon's Dogma. I don't know when we'll get to it. I want to play... Uh, I want to play Final Fantasy uh, 7 uh, Rebirth, I, th I think it's called. I think we already explored everything. Yeah, we already explored it. Yeah, I want to play it, but I need a PS5. However, but if I am able to get a PS5 this year, there's it, there is a slight chance I'm going to get to a uh, hmm, nice. I I will probably end up playing. Uh, found the uh, on duty officers in a state of utter confusion. I think we're fine. Okay, we need to come here. I've got like so many of these, however. <sighs> yeah, there's just a lot of games I want to play. A lot of games I want to play. Question is, will I get to play it? That's not what I meant to do. How are we doing, Promethean? Uh, we're okay. Emergency servitors assigned to the storage base have gone berserk and are attacking voidsmen. Oh, come on. Survivors are claiming to have seen some pernicious warp beast possessing one of the automatons. It must be expelled one way or another. Rogue traders, uh... Yeah, we're gonna do this ourselves. I want the XP. I want the XP. All right. Okay, so I'm at 530 uh, 359. I'm going to be curious as to Your arrogance will be your downfall. Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to start with Cassia here. Or Argenta there. Cassia here. Put Erliet here. Actually, we'll go Z right here. We'll go Pascal here. And Abelard here. And then we'll go ahead and start battle. Now, as usual, Isn't start it with targeting Argenta with this.
Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put her up. I'll see to it personally. All right, so now this now costs one less, so that means we'll be able to pop this. And we'll As pop this. Commands, I act. Who do we want to go after? Who do we want to go after? Probably these guys. Yeah, let's Thank go after these guys. The nice. And turn, and turn. Now Pascal's up. We're gonna plop uh, this right here, so that way when Cassia, uh, point of interest here, everybody's just going to uh, rush on in right over there. Uh, I'm then gonna go ahead and plop this here. Give uh, range and stuff like that. Plop this. Can I rotate, please? No, no. Other way. I'm fine. Denied. Oh my god. Rotate! Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright, and then joint analysis. And then... Right, there's his turn. Okay, so we're going to start with this on these guys here. Uh, I won't be able to hit all of them, right? Oh, yes. Bada boom. That's what I want. Uh, okay, yes, that'll hit the majority. Okay. Probably want to do something like this, maybe? Yeah. Me. Perfect. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Oh, fantastic. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Z's coming up next. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Okay, so I might as well go ahead and do this so we can gain as the Emperor commands, I act. Uh, an extra... Wait, what? You didn't go up? Wait a minute, what? Uh-oh. That's not good. As the Emperor commands, I act. Wait. Oh, right.
Hmm. Okay. That changes things. That changes things. That very much changes things. Oh no, it did go up. Okay. Okay, now I think we're okay. I think. Like, we killed one of them, but that's fine. Um, who's the biggest one? Probably you? Yeah, this is... this. Yeah, this isn't, uh... Yeah, this isn't, uh... Okay. Um... Servitor, servitor. Servo skull. Servo skull. Ah. Okay, you're the big one that's gonna... Uh, that's... Well... Yeah, you're probably going to do some damage to us, but I think we'll be okay. So, the big bad boy in this sector now is currently... Probably you? Well, there is you, so I suppose we probably should take care of you before you... Well, you're not for a little while. Actually, no, I do want to take care of you now. If it serves your cause. This is me trying to figure things out. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, you can definitely hit a lot of people. Um... And you missed. That's okay. If it serves your cause. Okay. There are... Okay, here comes all the... I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Ooh, nice dodge, nice dodge, nice dodge. Okay, so we're at five right now. This currently costs two, so I think... I think what we'll start off with is you. Put this down to one, so we'll go ahead and now trigger this. Follow it up with you. And you. I'll do it. 
Ah, uh, and we're in business. Faith without deeds is worthless. We are in business, chat. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. I'll do it. Each strike is a prayer. That is not the Emperor's will. Do 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 do. As the Emperor commands. You just miss. Oh, you hit. This is unacceptable. Of course he did. Faith without deeds is worth All right. So it's just uh, these few guys left currently with the possibility of more guys coming in. So best not waste this just yet. Either is you. Can't hit you. Can't, can't hit you, huh? So we'll go ahead and start with that. We've already got 46, which is insane. Because Argenta just gains momentum like insane. Didn't our oh oh okay so that's how that works apparently they in order for it to be considered attack they have to have done damage to him that's that were attacked okay oh and have less than fifty oh I can I miss I completely missed that part whoops okay. Must learn skills. And he does not have less than 50. He still has more than 50. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and... On it. Who if not me? Like I said, I'm going to reserve this and uh, reserve my ultimates because I'm pretty sure we're going to get like a second wave. Okay, we already voiced command here, so now we can go ahead and... I'll see to it personally. It's as good as done. Oh, I forgot to do that last time. Oh, well. On it. All right, this is now free, which is great. So if we pop her right here, she can just do her whole burst attack on them. It'll be great. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and pop this. Trigger. Trigger. This is going to be overkill. As the Emperor commands, I act.
Uh, Abelard. Ah, uh, yeah, you can just. Oh, yeah, I, I clicked too quickly. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. I just clicked too quickly is all. Um, we'll go ahead and just smack him one. Oh, damn. It will be done. At your beck and call. Okay, this could hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you have no exploits, so we'll go ahead and exploit you. Um, hmm. And you missed. That's okay, though. This should hurt. But a boom. Requests approved. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'll do it. And we'll go ahead and pop here. Faith without deeds is worthless. Once again, triggering that, trigger this. Alright, this is more than less going to be overkill, but you know what? Whatever. I've finished 26 XP gained. Nice. Is that really it? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it was more experience, so that's, uh, that's always good. More XP. Can't can't go wrong with that, right? Well, start by doing this. Aha, Kranak, that's where I need to go. But we will start off with this. What is this? Adamantine. Okay, how much of that do I have? I only have two. Oh, I have no extractums. Okay, so that means... Unidentified void ship. Okay. Uh, there are sects in the Imperial cult whose adherents believe transgressors will be punished after death on burning planets. This world could serve as one such purgatory. Uh, the bizarre structure observed from orbit appears to be the ruined estate of a wealthy noble. A further searching reveals the remains of an uh, Faro dome, a landing pad at the main manor and servants' quarters. It is possible to determine what exactly happened there. The search team has found something truly disturbing in the main hall. An opulent cloth skeleton sitting at the dinner table. 
table is set with gold plates covered with old blood and piles of bone. Cannibals, I see. Um, search the remaining of the owls. Uh, some expensive weapons taken with the skeleton. After finishing the report, the, they hurry away, whispering prayers. Assault las gun. Eh. A uh, Vox notification from the Ogre crew uh, drowns out the usual noise of the bridge. An Imperial vessel of the Dark Piercer and its escort ships are headed your way. Your archives make no mention of either the ship or its owner. As you consider your course of action, the ship's captain contacts you first, introducing himself as the Pilgrim. The captain greets the rogue trader courteously and offers to purchase any information you might have on Crystal Phlogiston deposits. Why does he call himself Pilgrim? Uh, the captain is, he has not always done the right thing in his life, but he once believed the blessing of the Emperor himself and has followed a special path of service to him. Uh, that is the path he now treads as the Pilgrim. Uh, why do you need Vlog Jistin? Uh, the captain's course, uh, laughter echoes for Orth from the Vox. Vlog Jistin is a part of a parcel of many different aspects of life in the Imperium. I have five. Okay, all the Pyrrhogon promises the Phlogiston will be purchased for the good of humanity. Uh, Pascal becomes visibly animated at the mention of Phlogiston. Though indifferent to the prospect of a deal with the shad a shadowy individual, the Magus nonetheless recommends you find out more about our Phlogiston deposits. Your own protectorate would benefit from the knowledge. Sister Argenta sincerely believes the words of the Pilgrim. A cowl or a golden aquila are no... Uh, prerequisites for being his true servant. If the captain sincerely wants to help the Imperium, perhaps his own methods, there is nothing questionable about exceeding a helping hand. Okay. What will we receive in return? Uh, has been exploring the Crown's Vance for years, many of the secrets. He promised to let you in on intriguing rumors that may be of interest to someone with your skills and capabilities. Oh, really? rumors? That's not enough. Okay. Propose a deal. Available information. Isn't that what we just asked? Anyways. Uh, profit factor gain too. Nice. And we didn't lose anything. Sweet. Treasure in the ocean. And then in somewhat uh, conspiratorial tone, the pilgrim relates a story about a standoff between two Xeno fleets, which he was told by an acquaintance. Uh, the person in question, sadly enough, died at the hand of the Inqu in Inquisition before they were able to pass on the coordinates for the crash site. Oh! Uh, the other step. However, on an ocean world, bid farewell. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Okay, Recolliger's plot. Hmm. Is there money to be made? Welcome here, Lord, uh, Lordiness. Please, come right away. And you, what's... Oh, come on. Re really? I wanted to read all that. Hey, you're 
Burns, how's it going? Clear skies, my lord. Clear skies. Uh, please, please come right in. Our chief, she'll greet you, and you it's quit your gawking and get to work. Okay. Do these monk cage truly spend their uh, brief lives digging through uh, refuse? Why do they not choose another path? Find another self. I don't know. Now these people are humble at heart and diligent in their work, as all true children of the Perium ought to be. I'm doing okay? How about me? I'm doing great. I've read about this. Lethano's Pride. The name of Lethano surfaces in your mind of the history of a family from uh, the Renos Expanse who invested all they had in a family ship. The ship perished in the warp on its maiden voyage. The Lethano line never recovered from this crushing blow. Aww. Always keep your eye on the prize. Just rubbish. Well, oh, what are you? Where are you guys going? Nothing escapes my sight. Nothing escapes her sight yet. How's my day? Uh, oh. Excuse me while I start. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. A tired-looking woman of intermediate age, clad in work clothes, breaks off from her task to greet you. She freezes momentarily, clearly unsure how to address you, then says simply, Your Lordship, please excuse me. I don't really know your name. Welcome to our little colony. I uh, May the light of the Emperor be with you and with us. My name is Retta uh, Maximova. I'm in charge here. Uh, I'm in the middle of uh, playing my own game, just chatting. All good, buddy. All good. What is this place? Uh, we just call ourselves Reddit's crew, and this place is Reddit's camp. That's it. We're recolligers, scavengers in common terms. You does not speak the word scavengers with any kind of uh, disdain. On the contrary, there is dignity in your voice. Oh. And our work is at, uh, is all legal, even th even though your brethren have no liking for us. <laughs> oh no, Pascal is all like You cannot be the ones to do this I must be <clears throat> Anyways Pascal stares dispassionately at Retta With a hint of disgust if, Evidently he has not He has not even considered the possibility That replying to this creature's words Could be anything other than heresy <laughs> uh, What do you do here? Uh, right now, we're getting this lord an old heap of junk, slowly but surely. That's a colleague's life for you. They drop us off at some decrepit station or an uh, ancient battlefield, and we just sit there for years on end. We look for work uh, in tech or valuable materials or whatever else might be useful. If we find anything else, we sell it to the passing ships. Uh, not the easiest job out here, out there. These wrecks are chock full of all kinds of dangers, but... I swear it on my plasma torch, it's an exciting one for sure. Uh, this little bird's got all kinds of bells and whistles. Most of the text is dead, but we do find working pieces now and again. We spent two whole months clearing out this sh uh, shaft we found, finished just three days ago, actually. And we found this thing. A bit weird looking, but still functional. Reddit's expression brightens a little. Well, perhaps your lordship would like to buy this component from us? I'll bet that uh, that big ship you've got uh, could get plenty use out of it. A Pascal Fox crack, uh, crackles alive. Imperiously, he tells her, "Present the object, laywoman." But curiosity keeps, <laughs> but curiosity creeps into his voice nonetheless. <laughs> I will buy the component. 
rechargeable battery. Well, isn't this something? Uh, the Emperor himself must have smiled upon us. You know, Your Lordship, it's kind of embarrassing to offer you this, but... Uh, over in the corner there, we keep things we don't rightly understand or can't really use. You could send some of your people to check it out if you'd like. Clearly you know more about this stuff than us. You might find something useful. Have you got your own ship? No, not even close. A luxury like that? You could count uh, the recolligers who got their own ship in, on one hand. An old worker's hand that got stuck in the machinery three times and slashed a plasma cutter twice. Ow! We fly with a whoever, mostly just taking our chances. Sometimes we hitch a ride on the promise that we'll pay with what we find later. Other times we find some other means. Risky business, obviously. Five or so years back, a crew got dropped off on an abandoned station, but something wasn't right with the life support systems. The ship came back to pick them up two years later, and we found nothing but bodies. Didn't we run into that ship? Anyways... Uh, and about 15 years ago, back... Uh, oh wait, no, this must... Oh no, this was like a while, a while ago. We ran into something like that, though. Uh, I had my first little one. A ship took three years to... Uh, locations and ran into pirates on the way back. The ships go out on expeditions for years at a time, so it was ages before anyone realized they were missing. And it was even longer before they remembered the scavengers. Plus, it took some time to find a ship that could check on them and pick them up. Long story short, all three crews had, had bought it. Yep. Hmm, can you tell me anything about this wreck? Not much. Uh, we're no eggs. You know, we're manual labor. It's an ancient thing, pretty dangerous, and we don't really know much beyond that. Before we came here, some tech priests had done their own bit of gutting. Huh, I mean, uh, ritualing, bowing, uh, uh, bowing to the spirit, all that. Gotcha. Uh, you take pride in your trade, I see. I uh, sure do. Take skills, luck, and good. Uh, one moment there. Uh, the next we're gone. Kind of like, yep. Well, if you don't judge me too harshly and don't take it to, uh, take it as insolence, but some people, even big people like you, think too highly of themselves. Let's say your uh, ship hops into the warp someday and doesn't hop out of the, hop out in time. And a thousand years later, another guy like me, yeah. You are musing, little monkey. Your life is shorter than the moths. And you spend digging around in the carcass of a dead uh, malevolent metal, but you speak of eternity, eternity and the stars. I like that. It's like see reflect in a puddle. Oh. You speak as, the, as if the world is set in stone and none of us can change anything for the better. Ah, those are some big things you're talking about. Way out of my death. Change for the better? Heck, that'd be nice. If I was younger and didn't have three young, youngsters back home. Maybe I would dream about stuff like that, too. But, as it is, I've got no time. I can take it from this place. It's not safe here, and sooner or later, it will drift somewhere so remote that nobody will ever find it again. But this this is our whole livelihood, your lordship. You take us from here, and what are we going to do? Oh. I see. Please don't take it as insolent, but it's not like I have much choice. Gotcha. <gasps> we got a label! We got one of the depictions. Okay. So she said like in the corner somewhere. A dumb side of cut pieces. Ooh, right there, right there, right there. I... I did it? A trivial task. I've learned much in my exile. Ooh. 
There's an instruction manual for the duty officer on how to access the safes. You can obtain the codes of the safes by logging into the ship's cogitators. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Keep your wits about you. The machine god grants the insight. Come on. Is blessed with multifunctionality. Oh, there's got to be I one operative operate operating cogitator here somewhere. The machine god grants me insight. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Operation. You successfully logged to the duty officer's original and obtained the code of this old safe. Yeah. What we got here? Chameleon cloak. Uh, mimic fibers blend the coloration of the wear into the surrounding. The cloak grants the wear plus 10% dodge. Nice. And an Eldari weapon. Fractal blade. The leader of the sword gains a plus 25% bonus to parry. Wow. That's nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and level up. Uh, level 24. Anyways. How do you do 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 Um Ballistics, I believe I wanna go because that's that is our well I'm not gonna lie, we're not doing a lot of shooting. So... I think I wanna... I think I actually wanna get my willpower up. Yeah... I think I want to get my willpower up. It's like, yeah, we're doing occasional shootings. Uh, we, we shoot on occasion, like when it comes to uh, our extra turn that we get from somebody else doing a, um, uh, a high momentum ability. But uh, we're, we don't get much out of, else out of that. So, yeah, it, we yeah we don't get much else out of it. So, we'll just uh, get something else in, instead. So, Do do do. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, the servant has less than 30 maximum wounds. You can use you, uh, you serve me one more, uh, once more in battle. Designate a new. Okay. We could do that, but our Argenta is usually. Okay. If the servant kills the target that the noble dealt damage to last turn. Uh, we're not, like I said, we're not attacking a lot. The noble and the servant are adjacent to each other. Uh, yeah. Uh, Argent is usually like out in the fray, so that's useless. Uh, there's Nimble we could do. Um, hmm. Swift movement. Grants plus two movement points. I mean, so far we're not having issues with that. This is just a common talent, right? Yeah, it's just a common talent. Maybe I could get... Persuasion up? Because that is our primary skill. And one second. I mean, I guess I could get him Grenadier. Uh, you know what? All right. Gonna do. Well, uh, he doesn't use a lot of grenades, so uh, let's just go nimble. Alright, we got Power Weapon Expert. Last round, but it's telling me... Okay. Good. 
Not really, I'm not like I'm really gonna use it, but. Just plop some grenades on him, I guess he'll be fine. Agility? Really? Why agility? Mm, okay. I mean, I guess it uh, ups their demolition and and uh, dodge. Well, time for uh, overpowered. When firing heavy weapons, uh, critical hit chance is increased by uh, ballistic skill bonus percent and critical hit chance. And crit damage is increased by... Yeah. yeah no, no. I'm going to go ballistics. All right, here, Liet. Come here, girl. Really? Wait, what? Not right here. Okay. Okay, we can no longer up intelligence. That's fine. We want to up ballistics. Where's that extra three coming from? Hmm. And then training and int. Then Cassia. Well, we can no longer up our willpower. The next after willpower. Uh oh. Oh, perception. And then uh, open the warp. Must be down here. Enemies affected by the navigator's abilities uh, suffer a stacking ten pe minus ten penalty to the next resistance test from the navigator's powers. The penalty is lost after such a test is made. Wow.
Okay. So we got our Drukari weapon proficiency. Now we need to figure out... Okay, well, I guess that's all there is in here, so... I'm guessing there's some uh, really good Jukari weapons, then. Hopefully there's a, a good Jukari sniper in here. All right, Danrock. Better have something good for me. More than likely be... Oh! Oh! Uh, she's an ally as the target of their ability. The wearer immediately gains a plus... A uh, plus to their MP. The targeted... Oh, wait. Oh, no. The wearer. Uh, target ally gains uh, MP at the start of this ally's next turn. Oh, neat. Well, you might as well grab it. These as well. The precise bolter. Thank you. That'll come in handy. Um... Warrant bracers. Uh, if the wear deals damage, the enemies suffer a uh, one to three warp damage with armor. For each stealth the enemy has moved during the. This is a. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a heretical user. <sighs> Balls. Oh, wow. Nice. Ooh. Thank you. Great. Now I got to look up uh, Jukari snipers. Oh, damn. Well, this is a sniper, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, anyways, let's, uh... I need to get this up. so close there ah oh, getting I need to get this up really bad anyways okay so I could probably get this up here pretty quickly what is this uh, I can move without pro okay uh no I 
I mean, I would like to actually look at it. Uh, because the target marked as Prey, they gain a stackable bonus until the end of combat. The bonus depends on the enemy difficulty tier. Oh, I would like this. Because I could throw this on, uh... Maybe if Earlet can actually wear it. Wow. Oh, really? Only 60... Oh, wait. Only 6,700. We need a we need a lot. All right, what could we get from you? Precise last gun, combat manipulator. Um, targeting visor. Eldari. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grizzly Wear's chance to hit, uh, chances to hit targets at a range of 10 or further by 20%. I would like that, however. I'm going to make a quick save here. Well, yeah, I'm going to make a quick save here. Puts me to nine. Oh, I'm short. Giggity. Okay, I might not want that then. Um, wow, we have a lot of reputation points on him, but yet we're only at five. You think we'd be, you'd think we'd be higher than that, right? You'd think we'd be higher. Yeah, that only put us up by up two. Rukari Clave. It's a sniper. Oh, this is a 66. Yeah, we can't get that yet. What are you? You're a flamer. On dark visionary hood, uh, plus 10 bonus to willpower and plus 15% damage to psychic and navigator powers, but inflicts weapon skill and blitz. Oh! That's perfect. That's a Cassio item right there.
Oh, do they have to be at 100% in order to... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure. I mean, no, I don't really, I don't really care. Like, in all honesty, Kadira is one of those characters I don't really care about. Like, she's cool and all, but at the same time, it's like, I... Hmm... Uh... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Definitely one of those characters like I don't really care. Jay is another one of those, uh, Jay is another one of those characters like I don't necessarily care about her like she's funny i like her but not someone i want to take in the combat like maybe if i wasn't maybe if i wasn't i myself wasn't a um uh a psyker or if i wasn't myself a you know, basically what she is right now uh officer i wouldn't care I don't care. Uh, so... 23 minutes... Okay, so... I'm just gonna... Uh, what is it? What am I looking for? Unwavering motivation. Oh, right here. Oh, neat. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Like, well, oh, good God! Like her lore Imperium is actually pretty damn good, but. I don't... But. My fellowship's already maxed out, so the willpower. All right, uh, so 48, what's it do? It will not day, 62. 
That's everybody? That's everybody. Okay. Inventory. All right, you. Wow. Inflicts fatigued and and slowed. I mean, it's not like the guy's really gonna. Hmm. A lot of damage, though. It's only. I mean, we lose out on the dodge reduction, but. Okay. However, we're probably still more or less going to end up using Wanderer's Portent most of the time. Because Talk. All right. So we know we need to get to here. I do need to check something, though. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm reading something real quick. Sorry. Apologies. Okay. go here but i think we're i think we probably should go ahead and pop on over to here as best as we can so we'll go ahead and quick save and then travel
Trickle of disturbing news came from the navigator's chambers over the last few days. Allegedly, there is a vast shadow following the void ship through the depths of the Sea of Souls mere uh, hours before emerging in real space. The vessel shuddered, and an unidentified, uh, unidentified leviathan had emerged from the roiling warp, wrapped its tentacles around the ship, and started squeezing, trying to crack the hole like an egg. Uh, trust in the navigator's talent. Nice. Uh, the ship's navigator engaged the warp monk spirit in invisible combat by giving orders from her chamber by following the astronomical uh, cons guide, uh, guiding light and struggling against the mighty alien wolves, seeking to break her at the uh, awesome. Okay, so she fine. She, she she's fine. She got that and regained some insight. Rise. We don't have to. Deal with a deal with an alien monster. Uh, fight an alien monster. Anyways, we'll go ahead and pop this. You got a lot of insight, and I hardly use it at all. I don't think I've used it once yet. A violent ba uh, battle is unfolding before the rogue trader's eyes. Patrol ships from the Corda fleet are tearing apart two small Eldari vessels. And once they are finished with them, the void ships give, a, give chase after the third, already damaged vessel, clearly with the intention of destroying it as well. Seeing the last ship's impending death, Erlet calls out to the Lord Captain, and her voice trembles. Uh, send a message to the incendiary Corda fleet, ordering them to stop the battle. The boss master relays the, court, uh, the Lord Captain's demand to stop the battle and soon returns with a reply. According to the court of ships, this group of Xenos are malicious criminals. They are guilty of raiding the, the system's planets and robbing merchant vessels. Incendia Cordus void ships are intent on performing the, uh, their duty. Oh. I hear that slowly watches the unfolding chase. Uh, analyze the intact. Uh, analyze the intact ship. Despite the uh, uh, despite the uh, the presence of some weaponry, the Wazino ship is more likely meant for transporting cargo. Ask for proof. The patrol's captain reluctantly admits that there is no proof. Uh, uh, there is no conclusive proof. The system is sometimes the target of pirate raids. However, this changes nothing. Oh, wow, it's the 50 50. Oh, we got this, chat. Demand a quarter's warship cease fire immediately and retreat. The litany of wounds that is ringing out across our decks. Well, that was rude. Lance batteries, folly. Supernova. Rip them apart. <laughs> Rip them apart. Indeed. Torpedoes away.
Oh, I probably should have done this instead. I hear that dying please in the void. Well, coordinate set. Oh, no, that's not good. Please don't kill me. The void ship's machine spirit cries out in pain. Oh, we so dead. Oh, we dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we died. <laughs> now, as much as I would like to do that fight, I definitely want to see what would happen if, uh... Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Unwilling to engage in open battle against the flagship of the uh, foreign dynasty, the patrol reluctantly leaves its prey and retreats to the edge of the system. Meanwhile, the wounded uh, Xeno ship is rapidly distancing, uh, distancing itself from the recent battlefield, attempting to hide in the shadow of the nearest world. Every attempt to contact it and contact it is met with frustration, and the Voxmaster reports that the vessel is deplorably is in deplorable condition. Who knows how much more the Xeno technology can endure before the irreparable happens? The Eldari are too scared and resentful of the Monke for the recent deaths. Oh, the other can to answer incoming hails. Despite this, Airlight is certain that she can convince them. Okay, uh, yep. Come on, you got this. Oh my god! Oh my god. Wait. Okay, we're gonna delete that one real quick. Come on now. Don't do this to us. Wait. What's going on? Is it using mine or is it using your let's? Because, what the hell?
Oop, sorry, chat. Okay, so apparently it's using airless. Why is it showing mine? Okay, I don't quite understand that. Um... Okay. And all right, and I can't use anything anything on your let for to up her persuasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that lowered our warp. Ooh. Don't like that. Who's the highest warp now, then? Okay. So, I'm going to try and get this chat, because... That's her people. I don't want her people to just... There we go. <sighs> Two watches pass, and the Xenos finally decide to answer Eilat's pleas concerning the Ellen Talk's assistance. Unguardedly asking how exactly the monkey can help their vessel, the Eldari note that the human's primitive te uh, technologies are incapable of healing the Eldari vessel's wounds. The sudden benevolence of one human is equally incapable of bringing back those who perished in the recent engagement. Grant the Eldari the rogue trader's protection by accepting them uh, aboard the ship. The Eldari accept their fate with forced humility. They do not resist, but neither do they appear uplifted by their rescue. They see their stay on a, on a monkey ship as imprisonment filled with uncertainty about the uh, what awaits them. After a few launches, Xeno's suspicious, suspicions are validated. The presence of outsiders who filled the lower decks were, was perceived by ordinary people as an invasion of godless mutants. Shouting prayers to the Emperor, they rushed to depressurize the compartment containing... Really? The rogue trader, I'm... Um...
Wow. Wow. Really? Oh my god. Okay, so who? Ah. Ah. Ah, one second. I apologize for that. Ugh. Big old eyelash plopped right in my eye. That was not a good feeling. I'm gonna get this check, chat. Well, not the check, but... God. This is re Man, this almost makes me have to... Uh, just respec your lead a little bit. Uh, ugh, man, that... It's not a good feeling when you get stuff stuck in your eye, and that was n not a happy feeling. Oh my god. I'm a filthy save scummer. I want this check to happen so I can get a good night. This is where I would really like if we could save in between dialogue. But nope. Man. Again, another thing that BG3 really spoiled us with. Being able to save in between dialogue. Like, I guess it's kind of understandable that it's making us use her, um...
Okay. Oh, I should have just loaded. Oh, well. This hallowed vessel's bulkheads will hold strong. I mean, I probably should just go ahead and do that combat. Yeah, because, yeah, it's not going to use mine at all. It's actually going to use Airlet's, which kind of sucks. But... It sucks, but... You know what, I'm... Sorry, chat. Another reading that I must do. Okay. Come on, you're lit. Oh my god. She really, she really needs to roll lower than a 20. Do I have anything I can give her? Maybe something on me? Plus five to... Fellowship, she only has a 30, so that's not going to do anything. Oh, God. Okay. 
Do I have anything in my... Um... I want to make this check easier for Earlet. But damn. I got. I have to check my... Uh, my, uh, my other box. A box full of crap. All right, what do I got? No. Can't wear boots, so that's a no-go. That's a no. Huh? Oh, that's a heretical follower item, so can't use that. I don't think I can get rid of those. No, I don't think I can give her that, but I'll try. I'll try. There's nothing else I got. And I don't think that'll actually work on her. Damn, didn't think so. Now it's right here. How do I get her persuasion up higher without having to respec? So far, that's the only thing I can do, but she's not going to get much else. Like, Like, I'd have to respect her in this. All right, agility. Ballistics. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah, this... Yeah. This is going to be a rough fight. Or a rough... This is going to be a rough check. Come on, game. Come on, Earlet. You are the one I'm more worried about. All right. And once we finally get this check, I'm going to look back up. I'm going to... Now look, look up. I looked up a lot of stuff, so look up. The better outcome, because... This is not a 1% chance. This is a 20, so you'd think we'd at least may have gotten it by now. Well, it's still a low chance, so... 
I could probably roll some dice on myself and be like, yeah, hey, I got it. And be like, yeah, it's not that hard. Which it actually is. Oh, there it is. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Really? So it doesn't matter. Mercifully grant the Xenos, uh, provisions and medicine. The Xenos half heartedly thank the rogue trader and turn their ship toward distant stars and inevitably d and inevitable death in the void. No words are exchanged on the bridge, but everyone understands that the wounded ship will never make it there. A few terrain days later, a blue flash at the edge of the stiffsum confirms the vessel's unfortunate fate. And only the thin figure of the Eldari stands motionless against the backdrop of the intricate stainless glass windows, mourning the fallen in solemn silence. Once the pain in her let soul is numbed, he turns to Lord Captain Nods, a short gesture of gratitude for their attempt to save... Okay, that... Okay, so... End result, they they still died. I, they were going to die either, either way, apparently. And I just... Apparently I, apparently, I beat my head against the glass window on this one that I didn't even need to be do that. So... Yay! Uh, but this was a, a much nicer outcome. Still not exactly happy with how it turned out, but... The planet is devoid of even the most primitive forms of life. However, the crew has made a quite strange discovery. A mirror lying in the center... Oh, destroy it! Completely ordinary mirror to the frame. All I almost... Is in prist yeah, destroy it. No, nope. no. Nope. I already. I no. Uh, no. Nope, nope. I detect heresy. I detect heresy in that. Take the mirror. <laughs> I detect so much heresy in this mirror, but we're gonna we're gonna see where this goes. <laughs> uh, the mirror now hangs on the wall in one of the uh, compartments. It looks completely normal. However, only a half an hour after its arrival, the Voxmaster reports that the shuttle crew that delivered the mirror has disappeared. The people who hung the mirror have also disappeared. Even the enforcer who wandered into the compartment by mistake and stopped to fix his new non-regulation caveret has vanished without a trace. Smash the mirror. 
The team said to destroy this mirror uh, stopped responding. <laughs> Send to the team with righteous prayers on lips. Stop responding. <laughs> Blow it up. Deciding that half measures were not enough, the Lord Captain gave the order to blow up the compartment. The uh, demolition team carried... Oh my god! Four damage! And to the rest of the vessel, uh, surface that the mirror was not damaged in the slightest and is... It was now lying in the... Use explosive first, then uh, depressurize the compartment. It's the only way. Oh God! Mournfully set to work, beseeching the machine spirit for forgiveness. After a oh wow. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. No. I love how it puts us all the way over here. And not, like, directly on top of it. Uh, destroy it. Uh, blast the crater, easing a cloud of dust blocks the way. I could not have survived such a powerful explosion. Definitely not. Yeah, destroy it. Keep in mind. A vig uh, vigilant member of the uh, auger crew has detected a small Xenos vessel drifting through the void. The ship is unpowered and shows no signs of being crewed. Send our boarding shuttle. Um... Version has laid waste to the ship's systems, which led to the death of the entire crew. The interior is full of Eldari corpses. No weapons were found on board, and the dead Xenos, judging by their clothing, were not part of any warrior cast. The Xenos earlet claims to have recognized the symbols of the dead Eldari's clothes. They were civilians, mm, civilian refugees from Crash World Kruderak. Oh. Man, this is just getting worse and worse for Earlet. She's just continuously seeing her, uh... My mining world has been cataloged as normal, no rare or valuable deposits detected. Gotcha. Yeah, she's just continuously seeing all her people just die. Or dead. In front of her. And she's trying to save them. Ah, oh, this, this is making her feel so wor so bad. All right, let's see how this play let's see how this battle goes. I stand ready to serve you and the Imperial. Alert! The Jukari have blocked some of your flagship posts using an unknown Xenos power. Your crew will regain control of these. Jukari. Oh, God. How many do we got? Fire at will. With the force of a supernova. Let the void sort them out. All hands, prepare for acceleration! Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna go well, isn't it, Jet? Rude, and they pass my shields. Oh, God. Oh, God. With the force of a supernova. Fire at will. Keep up the pressure. We are more than likely going to die here. took out our warp our warp abilities that kind of screwed me kind of wish they had taken out something else instead <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. okay 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 i'm ready lance batteries volley Ooh, nice, 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 nice. With the force of a supernova. Engage the engines. Torpedoes away! Alright, we're not able to hit any of them. That's slightly unfortunate. However, I think that's okay with us. Can't 
Can't do a, I cannot do a swing and run, but again, that's okay. Coordinate set. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. So if I flop right here. Damn. I would have to, yeah, All do something hands. like this. Prepare for acceleration. Fire at will. Keep up the pressure. Bada boom. Purgation through blessed plasma fire. Salvo. Lance batteries. Volley. Nice, 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 nice. And we're still alive. Unavoidable. That means I need flop right here and turn around. Set. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't have done that. Now he has Oh well, actually it didn't really matter. Oh. Um. With the force of a supernova. Nice. All that scrap is going to be pretty much to... That was very rude. All righty then. Oh, God. 
Uh, the clan servers of the cooling system have reported an incident of sorcery. The shadows in the cabin, uh, cabins and quarters are coming to life. The voicemen say they see strange uh, writing things lurk in nooks and crannies at the edge of their vision. If they look away, the things spread over the room. Oh, God. Order the monsters to be banished with faith. Lord Captain, according to uh, to Telemet, uh, Tree, we are in the system of Kiavagama, the main industrial world of the uh, Von Valencia's dynasty. However, our astropaths reported the attempts to contact Governor Caprec have been unsuccessful. But wait, Lord Captain, a new report. Kiavagama is sending a request to exchange data. Should we accept? New. No, ignore the transmission. As you command. Lord Captain, we ignore the transmission as you detect as you ordered. The Vox system has detected a dozen more incoming requests. Their number is growing every second, and each one is becoming more insistent and stronger. I think I think I hear something. Oh dear God. Ugh. Uh start of picked a uh, start of picked recording. Uh sounds of the working cover that everything seen is uh Okay, one is going out. Uh, decipher the incoming box transmission at all cost. Proceed. A team of decryption experts gets to work at it again. The other tethers are inserted into the sockets as they connect to the cogitators. One of the Vox clerics leans over to the console. Another is writing something on a piece of parchment, but then uh, she bursts into maniacal laughter and stabs herself in the eye with a steel quill. Another scream. A tech priest who, who is mid-prayer tears himself to pieces. Oh, God. Executes one of the Lutex and roars a series of orders uh, to the rest. The man man's body falls to the rogue trader's feet as his commanding voice, magnified by a Vox amplifier, carries over all the noise. He orders the crew to master themselves immediately, promising to personally execute anyone who fails to do so. I mean, yes. Uh, quiet down. Others try to snap out of it. Uh, one pins her hands to a panel with a dagger to stop herself from moving. Another fervently whispers prayers. Some return to the cogitators. Others lean over to the wounded. Shots ring out. Those still on a rampage are executed by the rogue trader himself, as promised. <laughs> Scrap code. The voice belongs to the uh, on deck and seer who has turned to the captain, a lord of captain from his station. We have been attacked with Scrap Code, a tech heresy designed to corrupt machines. Runs from his love for his life from the bridge. Well, okay. The voidborn officer appears to be a for the Lord Captain once more. Whatever it is, that, whatever it is that's attacking us, we have a backup procedure that can circumvent the Vox barrier in the atrium leading to the bridge. Uh, there is a terminal for an isolated system that might still be unaffected. A loud pop. The pipes over the officer's heads burst, and a blast of hot air flings the void born away from the Lord Captain. Ah. Uh, his body slams straight through a cockatier panel. The picked frame spins uncontrollably. The serval uh, skull was jolted by the gust. The picked uh, recorder fogs over the Vox, picking up the crack, uh, crackling of electricity and a death cry. Gas on the bridge. Work until you're very lost!
Whoops. Uh, heedless of the gas spreading over the deck, the officers can do the flurry of work of the uh, station executing the orders issued by the Lord Captain. Even when the doors to the bridge are open, the crew carries on for as long as they can. Last to leave the bridge, Lord Captain runs out, coughing heavily. And leaning on a support beam, the rogue trader takes several deep breaths, trying to flush uh, his lungs with air. Then he straightens, smooths his uniform, and heads toward a goal known only to him. The servo skull follows. That doesn't seem like something I would actually do. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoop. Come back here. Sorry, chat. Uh, gives orders to evacuate immediately. Okay. Uh, takes a chance restoring the terminal. Uh, rips the power on key off the tech priest mechanized right and opens the cover of the terminal. Sparks fly into his place, but he is confident. Uh, when the machines went out of control and started turning people insane, others driven by some uh, hateful paranoid log uh, logic started butchering. Ooh. Um, head to the maintenance bay himself. Not a moment too soon. The crew, primed out of all their wits, have already cornered the priests of the Omnicide and are about to execute. Even the Lord Captain stands between the angry mob and the tech priests. His, uh, his sheer presence already giving the crowd pause, harshly cutting off any objections for the crew. The rogue trader orders the officers he gathered on the way here to escort the mutineers out and set up a guard post outside the bay. Return to the bridge. Uh, the walk to the bridge is uneventful. Uh, the bridge is as bustling as ever. Uh, praise the Emperor. You're in a one piece, Lord Captain. The situation on board is satisfactory. Okay. Uh, Lord Captain, the situation has been brought under control. More or less, it will take some time to eliminate the consequences of the attack completely, but the vessel is ca uh, uh, capable of motion. We may be able to conduct a warp jump if we feel we should leave the system. Allow me to bring you up to date. Unfortunately, the bridge suffered only minor losses, but reports mentioned only a few casualties that have already been replaced. Okay, you have a gamma went silent after transmitting the harmful signal. I will refrain from sending inquiries to the industrial world. Uh, I am afraid we have exhausted our options for a remote analysis, so basically we now gotta go down. Ah, Heinrichs! The time has come to remind you of our agreement. Gotcha, let's go. Recruiting for... And I know just the character to get rid of. Uh, to replace. I'm sorry, Abelard. He's the one to go. Because this is an industrial world, I'm pretty sure Pascal... Oh. Pascal is going to be very useful in this situation. Uh, the dwarf plant is marked on the Von Valencia's protectorate uh, charts as... Atle and serves as a backup source of water for the habita uh, habitable worlds of neighboring systems. Due to the un abundance of bacteria proliferating in the Atle, the extract extraction of ice was stopped half a century ago, but much to your officer's surprise, the Augur detected an unidentified mining rig deep underground. Presumably, the excavation is aimed at extracting clay minerals near the plant's core, enriching with iron and other minerals. Then a scouting party. Uh, turns out to be Incendia Quarter's latest investment, whose 
Demison is located just within a few jumps from the Kranach system. While this world is a little value to the Von Valencia dynasty, your officers see this gesture as an attempt to test the boundaries of the newly minted, minted rogue trader's leniency. Approaching on my territory. Magos Pascal notes the under composition about the core subsequent development will allow the extraction of rare refractory metals. Heeding his advice, the rogue trader decides to keep the extractium for himself. Your people easily assume control as the fright uh Freighted workers and the token security crew do not even attempt to resist. The extractium's machines are restarted shortly after. The amassed containers refill the uh, precious ore are delivered to the flagship's cargo hold. Nice. Alright. Apparently there's some ships inbound that we need to take care of. The whispers sound distant. The future is... And we uncertain. go first! Oh god, there's three over here. There's two up there. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm gonna hope that they don't really do much to us. Launch batteries fully. Nice. Fire at will. Nice. Torpedoes away! I want a quick save here. If this doesn't work out like I want it to... Damn, okay. I'm just going to reload then and then delete that save. This is going to be an interesting fight. Absorption potential exceeded. Void shield is non functional. Wow, really? There's him. Okay, there's that one. Um, okay, so then we want to go ahead and start working on you. With the force of a supernova. Nice. 
Make every shot count! They're way over there. Okay, this unfortunately is probably my best bet to do. Even though I, even though I don't want to do this. Or hold on. Oh, we can still hit us. Ow, that hurt. Salvo. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so next up, we go ahead and we'll go ahead and pop you out. Saw them out. Um, let's see how this works. Nice. Damn. I forgot to uh, right click and get out of that maneuver. Batteries fully. All that was weird. Prepare for acceleration. That means that they will have to reroute. This should kill him. Awesome. As much as I would like to do that. I think I have to do Engage that. The engines. Helmsman, take us in. Force of a supernova.
fire at will. Keep up the pressure! All hands, prepare for okay. acceleration. Oh, they didn't attack me. Sweet. Awesome. Now there's just you to deal with. However, it's a simple matter. Engage the engines. Oh, wow. Well. to do that okay well all hands prepare for acceleration there we go the void may be harsh but we're harsher <gasps> rank four chat And boom. Nice. Advanced ability and ultimate. Excuse me. Uh, reloads all macro cannons that were fired during the acceleration phase. That's pretty good. I might take that. Ah, okay. Vulnerability scan. Uh, to a weak point is increased by plus 30%. Only one weak point can be highlighted at a time. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, the, the suggestion is straight. Um, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that for now. And then we want all hands on deck. The flat six torpedoes tubes are, are loaded with three torpedo salvos instead of one. Plus one round for every 10 points in the po uh, post officer's demolition skill. Oh.
Your ship ha now has access to an ultimate ability that can distract, uh, drastically change the tide of battle. Try using your ultimate ability and see for yourself. Note that you can only use a one ultimate ability per combat. Uh, ultimate abilities are so powerful that they take a significant longer time to recharge. When using ultimate abilities, be aware that they may still be on a cooldown the next time you enter battle. Ship's ultimate cooldown bar gradually fills up on each of your flagship's turns in combat at the end of each uh, battle at a, and as a result of certain events. In space exploration. Okay. Yeah, she has the highest demolition. So this lasts six rounds. Oh. Neat. Anyways, um, we now have two sixty four. We need to just use thirty six. Um, what are we at? We're at one twelve. Ah, we'll be okay. Allows the use of both abilities of one select post for one turn. All right, now. We are like, we got a ways to go before we level up. So, our main party is going to consist of everyone. However, the only change is Abelard turning in. I'm going to exchange out Abelard for um, Heinrich. Because, yeah. But I don't have like the option to put this, uh, to add it to my safe. And not... Yeah, well, anyways. Alright. Pinky of... Uh, gamma. You have a Gamma? Well, let me, hold on. I'm going to do something real quick.
Uh-huh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I think I'm actually probably going to respec Heinrichs after I take a look at this real quick. What time is it? Okay. One second, chat. Hmm. Ah, nah, that's fine. It's fine because the main party members are literally Cassia, Z, and Argenta. Airlet takes <clears throat> Airlet is pretty darn close to being part of the uh, is pretty close to being like primary main cast. Uh Pascal <clears throat> Pascal, I'm actually kind of getting I'm starting to lose interest in Pascal. I'm starting to lose interest in Pascal. But I think he's going to be necessary for this area. Uh, Heinrich frowns on the, his eyes uh, as his eyes sweep over the manufacturer's dark hall. No solemn ceremony, no personal meeting with Magi. I fear we are too late and we won't be dealing with uh, clandestine heretics after all. Binaric arrays of alarm stream out of Pascal's Vox synthesizer and the uh, neurotic broken rhythm. You sense a call to arms and a warning of danger. Any suggestions for how we proceed? To start, let's look around and find out why the arrival of the rogue trader did not elicit the usual fuss. To speak plainly, I will not count on a warm welcome. We'll learn nothing, about, um, we'll learn nothing as we stand here. Let's go. Um, uh oh. I don't have some with with someone with athletics. Uh, before he was an agent, but uh, we'll lead to console intended for the use by people not trained in the mystery systems. Uh, view the log. All the crypto content collected by either previous operators or the machine spirit itself. Using machines, you study the archives stored on this cogitator. Uh, the vast data rep uh, repositories contain millions of strings of related to receiving raw materials. Okay, step away. Uh, view the first log. Praise the Amnesia. Praise the Amnesia. Uh, whose might and power transforms dead metal to make manifest the holy visions of the machine god. The new part of the cause receive. At the synod that from the great fabricated sensor have been executed despite those who shuddered at the thought of changing a standard procedure emboldened by emboldened your hearts those whose inner weakness breeds errors in personal uh, calculations for the fabricator sense is the conductor of the light uh be the second um uh, 
happened at the Supreme Assembly, the fabrication yield of bolts of the sacred designs committed those deems redundant of heretical to purifying disposal. That don't sound good. Today, dozens, or maybe that is good. Uh, today, dozens of standard procedures were lost to be replaced by new ones. Which the, uh, which the fabricator sensor will deliver to those who demonstrate the greatest devotion to serving the truth. But the databanks contain no notion of truth. Could there have been... May the all-knowing one, the gracious keeper, forgive me, an error in the fabricator sensor's calculations and he meant to say serving the quest for knowledge? Uh, this doesn't sound good. Uh, view the third. Your knowledge of machine spirits is sufficient enough. The instrumental uh, terminals have already been replaced and the material uh, material delivery systems are being prepared for divine transformation. The execution of the new procedure has been delayed. Uh, for there are some in our ranks who doubt the words. Thinking about it, I probably should actually go back to the ship and start prepping. You know, hold on. Just in case. Thinking about it. Because I don't use Heinrichs very often in this, I sh should actually uh, properly spec him out. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. What time is it? Oh, jeez. Probably. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Heinrich. Okay, power sword. He uses force swords. Unfortunately, I don't have any force swords. Death world origin. Okay. Those nine toxic damage at the start of it, each of the enemy's turns. Oh, wait. I think we have some, like, what world are you from, though? Doesn't really... It doesn't really tell us. Anyways, alright. Uh, yeah, we'll grab you. Plus 5% of the wear is 40. Uh, the agility is definitely above 40, however... Uh, 10% dodge. Um, you know what? I think we'll keep it that. Oh, right. That's a Z ability. Uh, oh, yes. Gimme, give gimme. Give 
Oh. You know, that'll help out. Oh. That could also be useful. Um... That might be a lot better, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, the hood, uh, the hood grants the wearer plus 10 bonus to willpower and plus 15% damage to psychic and navigator powers, but inflicts... Oh, yeah, we don't... We do not want that on him. Plus 10% dodge. Oh. Sure. We need to get enemy critical hits for the first three rounds of combat. That actually could be useful. Um. However. Actually, that, that doesn't change anything. Okay, we need to go into here. It's never a good idea to go into areas without your characters being... Yeah. Oh, uh, well, since I'm not going to be using Abelard... Uh... Oh, uh. uh one of the wearer hits an enemy in a melee range. Uh the wearer's nearest ally gains uh wearer's weapon. What? Uh willpower? Is that willpower? That's willpower, right? Yeah, willpower. Plus fell bonus. Temporary wounds. Eh. Oh, right. Wait. Do 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 do. That's heretic. That's Vicari. Chain. Lord Imperium tests depend on intel uh, fellowship instead of intelligence. Plus five armor. Could give that to him. I don't really have any necklace like items oh well uh 
Now I burst out the poison enemies with toxin. Okay. Intrigue. Okay, so apparently I don't have anything else. I guess Heinrichs is as... Uh, he's missing one item, though. Um, I... Dearie, do you have anything? No, Jay. No. Okay, so... That's useless on him, too. Carouse, how, what's your carouse at? 70? So I guess that's okay. So, sure. So he'll have decent athletics. That's really about. So he so he'll have okay athletics. Okay. Okay, I do want to take a look at uh, take, take a look at this real quick. Current recoil of this is forty. If I do this. So it doesn't change. Anyways. Stop trying, monkey. Boink. Oh, did that take anything off of her? Oh, neat. The where... So it has Iconic class adherent. Oh, okay. Uh, no, never mind. Well, does she have the better? Um, she does actually have the better awareness. So that's. Probably better. No, that's probably best on her then. Still have nothing for headgear though. You'd think this would be a headgear though. A headgear. Anyways, uh, whatever the wearer hits an enemy with a dead eye shot, it, it reduces the enemy's deflection by one and applies plus one exploit until the end of combat. Oh well. Sacks up to three times. Nice. I think we'll be okay. Well. Yeah, you aren't part of this whole system at all, so. Alright. That's what, okay, so we're set now. Now we're set. To what do I owe this visit? Oh, here's them, um, a good Sirocco. Anyways, okay, so. Chronos Expanse.
And a boo. Now we go through all that stuff again. chat i do actually need to call it a stream because i need to get going 